Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm sharing cards using white washi tape. Alta New has just released new washi tape designs. Four of them are white ones, as you can see. This is the first one and it is called Botanical Rhapsody. It has beautiful designs in black and white. And in today's video you will see examples with all those washi tapes. So here is another one in this beautiful teal color. It is called Teal Shadow. It has lovely flowers. This one has some foiling on top. Hopefully you can see it as I try to catch the light. And it is the Misty Meadows washi tape. This is the gold string washi tape. All those lines are really shiny, they are foiled and I think it makes a beautiful background for pretty much any occasion. Finally you get this very thin washi tape, it is called gold, uh, Golden Trim and it is nice to combine it with all the other washi tapes that have that uh, foiling on top. Now they have also released a new embossing paste. This is a paste that you can uh, apply with a spatula over your stencils and uh, you can do so many different techniques with that. Nice and fluffy and uh, I will be featuring this in another video with lots of ideas on how you can use embossing paste. Now let's move on and start making some cards with those white washi tapes. The easiest way to use those is to just cover up a panel like I'm doing here. It is really forgiving if you find that you end up with some bubbles, you can always peel it off and put it back on again. The design is just gorgeous and with those beautiful designs you really don't have to do a lot on top of a card. And that makes this white washi tape perfect if you want to mass produce cards. You can create lots of panels, background panels in no time and then just stick the sentiment on top. The good thing of using white washi tape instead of pattern paper is that uh, there are so many meters in a roll plus there is glue already at the back. I have used the fancy hello die that has just been released and uh, I die cut it out of uh, gold cardstock that matches perfectly the gold uh, foiling on my washi tape. And my sentiment it is quite dimensional since I cut it out many times and stuck one die cut on top of the other, so it looks like a chipboard. Now to finish off my sentiment I have also stamped one more phrase. This comes from a lovely stamp set that I absolutely love. It has beautiful um, flowers and sentiments. It says you are absolutely amazing and I stamped that with moss ink pad so it matches the leaves at my background. All I have to do is to stick it on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and you can see here some close-up photos. For my next card I'm going to use the gold string washi tape and I'm going to stick that on top of my panel on an angle and I'm going to combine it with the golden trim. I found that this wasn't sticking on top of the other washi tape so I'm just going to use a line of uh, white glue and I'm going to place it on top. Remember that you don't have to use the washi tapes only as a background, you can always uh, use them as focal points. So here I just uh, used a piece of that washi tape and uh, this is on top of a white cardstock just to make it more uh, sturdy and I'm going to use my scissors and fuzzy cut some of the leaves. I am leaving a white border all around as I'm cutting out those leaves just to make my life easier. Now I have fuzzy cut the leaves that I need and I'm going to stamp the sentiment. For that I went with one that says you make my heart happy and I stamped that again with moss ink that matches uh, my leaves. I'm stamping it on an angle to follow the golden line and this sentiment comes from a lovely stamp set which is packed with wreaths and lovely sentiments and as always you will find everything I'm using link down below. Finally, I'm going to embellish my card with the focal points that I have cut out using my washi tape and uh, I'm using foam tape at the back of those leaves just to add some dimension. I created a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half out of this lovely green cardstock and here are some close-up photos on the second card for today. For the third card I'm going to use this lovely teal shadow washi tape, I'm going to cover up completely a white panel and again I'm going to cut off all the excess and I'm going to do some die cutting, I have this large A die which I'm going to place at the center of my panel and cut it out. This is a great way to personalize a card using the initial of your recipient. 
now I went through my stars and uh, found a cardstock that matches perfectly the color of the flowers and I'm going to stick those on top making sure that uh, they are raised so I end up having some uh, shadow there since I used foam tape at the back and just like I did with the previous card I have cut out some of the flowers from the same washi tape just stick it on top of a white cardstock and fuzzy cut it so I have a couple of flowers there which I'm going to stick on top of my panel with foam squares at the back and I'm going to also stick down the sentiment to complete my card and you can see here some close-up photos For my last card I'm going to use this gorgeous washi tape, this is really white and it would cover a standard card completely and it is um, in black and white and as you can see it has those lovely floral designs. I have tried out on uh, this side as you can see and uh, I actually checked and uh, alcohol markers work on top of it which is great, you can use it in black and white if you want or you can just go ahead and color parts of the washi tape to use them as your focal points which is exactly what I'm going to do for this card now remember that this is not paper, it is washi tape so the uh, alcohol marker kind of beats up a little bit on top of it however it is going to dry completely and you will see the result it's going to give a kind of a sepia look which I find really cool so I have uh, added the darker shadow at the base of the leaves and uh, I'm going to complete the leaves with the lighter one at the top by the way I'm using my Altenew alcohol markers and once I finish coloring the leaves I'm going to try if I can move the color remember this is washi tape, it's not paper, however it is quite porous the alcohol ink has completely dry on top of it and I cannot move it at all and the result is very soft as you can see the colors don't dry as uh, vibrant as they actually are I'm also going to add some color on my flowers, for that I will be using only one shade of pink and I'm concentrating uh, the coloring mainly at the center of the petals just adding some brush strokes from the center towards the end and making sure that I don't cover up completely the whole flower and now I will move on and do some uh, fuzzy cutting I will cut out the whole image making sure that I leave a white border all around again just because it makes cutting fuzzy cutting easier this will end up being my focal point and remember that on this washi tape with the black and white designs you will find many different designs of flowers and leaves that you can use just like I'm doing for this card so here I'm using the other washi tape to create a little panel to decorate my card and I'm combining all the elements together by using foam tape at the back of those flowers to have some dimension for my sentiment I went with a fancy hello dye that I have uh, cut out of gold cardstock and I'm also adding some embellishments using my Nouveau Drops by the way this is part of a blog hop you will find lots of inspiration and many giveaways so make sure to visit my blog for all the details and here are all the four cards that I made for today using washi tapes from the latest release by Altenew and these were the projects for today I hope you had fun that you got inspired and if you did don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you haven't done so already thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time